Today we're taking a look at the Be Quiet Dark Base 701 case, courtesy of Be Quiet. The Dark Base 701 is classified as a MIDI or mid tower, but make no mistake, this is a solidly large case with tons of room for working on your PC and tons of room for excellent airflow. The front panel is completely ventilated with an outer and an inner mesh. The inner mesh actually protects the fans, and we have mesh on the entire top side to complement the front. This case can fit up to three 140mm fans in the front positions, as well as three 140mm fans in the top position, and you can still always have that single rear 140mm exhaust. You can do either a 420mm rad in the front, or a 420mm rad in the top, and in the opposite position, you could fit a 280mm rad if you wanted. Because this case is super breathable, I would feel confident in either air cooling or water cooling setups. Most cases are long-term investments for your gaming PC. You'll continue building different generations of PCs in the same case often, so I think it's important that when you buy a case that you can actually expand the cooling ability over time. And the 701 definitely has a long runway for increasing your cooling capability. Working inside of this case was quite easy too since the design is very well thought out and it's such a large case. There's plenty of cable management pass-throughs, there's a lot of tie-down points on the back side as well, and you get quite a bit of velcro strips included as well as some wire ties. I definitely like to see that, it's a nice touch. As for my test components, while I only have a baby RTX 3060 here, you can basically fit up to a 430mm long GPU, and there's enough CPU cooler clearance to fit a massively tall 185mm tower cooler. So as you can see, lots of component options here. The cooling capability of this case can essentially grow over time if you're upgrading your system. This case comes stock with three 140mm silent wings 4 fans. If you bought the white case, you'll get the white fans. If you bought the black case, you'll get the black fans. The silent wings 4 fans are extremely nice fans. They have a maximum rotational speed of 2400 RPM, a maximum airflow rating of 97 CFM, a maximum static air pressure of 3.64 millimeters to H2O, which is very high, and a maximum sound output of about 36.8 dBA. Now it sounds like these are super high powered fans, and they can definitely spin up if you need them to, but for a mid-range or even a high-end build, you probably don't need 100% fan speed. In my Ryzen 7700X and 3060 system here, I actually ended up setting all of the system fans to about 40% fan speed, and the system was essentially whisper quiet, right around 31 dBA measured by my phone at a distance of about 3 feet. Again, it's definitely worth noting that these are some really good fans. These are basically some of the best 140mm fans that you can actually buy. So I definitely think it's worth having three included for the cost of this case, plus you're actually getting a rear hub that supports eight total fans and two ARGB components. That really makes this case an awesome value in my opinion. As I mentioned before, between the free space that this case has to work with and the multiple fan and radiator mounting locations, this case can really be used as either an air cooling setup an air and AIO setup, or even a full custom water loop. To make it even easier to work in this case, both the top and the front fan trays can actually be removed for easier access when you're installing your fans or your fan and radiator packages. This was super handy during the build phase. You can cool your system however you want basically. Air, water cooling, or AIOs, or some mix of everything. If you did opt for a full loop, there's support for vertical mounting of your GPU, which I like to see. And that's really the only time I would recommend vertically mounting your GPU. This case has a great big tempered glass window to really make viewing of the PC super easy. And because there's so much room to hide the cables underneath in that PSU shroud, you're basically only seeing the components. I know that 2.5 inch SSDs and 3.5 inch hard drives aren't dead yet, and so does Be Quiet. We actually have support for up to three two and a half inch drives and two three and a half inch drives by default. Depending on how you want to configure your system, you can either go up to five two and a half inch drives or three three and a half inch drives. 
I think that would definitely complement some faster M.2 storage on the motherboard very well. Another neat feature of these higher-end Be Quiet cases is that they pad the back panels of these cases with sound and deadening material. This actually does two things for you. Primarily, it obviously helps absorb some of that system noise to help lower the overall perceptive noise coming from your gaming PC. This backing material also adds a ton of stability and strength to that back panel. It's actually quite satisfying to pull it off and reinstall it. It's not flimsy at all, and it feels like it's pretty high quality. I also like that since this material, generally speaking, is black, it gives a really nice backdrop when you're looking at the case with the back panel installed. I think it looks especially good on this white case. The 701 can also fit really large power supplies. You could go up to 250 millimeters long, so pretty much almost any PSU out there. The case measures in at 565 millimeters long by 240 millimeters wide by 523 millimeters high and it's about 28 to 34 pounds depending on what parts you choose to keep inside or have installed. So this isn't exactly a portable LAN party type of case. It's really more of a build a really nice looking case and make sure you put it somewhere you can actually enjoy it type of case. There's some built-in RGB here with the lighting strips. I like the effect. It's minimal, but it's also nice looking. In terms of the I.O., we have some good selections on the top of the front side of the case. We have one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, two USB 3.2 ports. We also have 3.5mm mic and audio ports, which is surprising in a good way. We've got the fan controller button and the ARGB controller button. I think it's kind of nice in my opinion that they built in those last two. I know some people actually prefer to have buttons to control the fans and the ARGB lighting. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but I like that they included them. Overall, I would say that this is a really solid, well-built, and well-engineered case. I would definitely recommend this case if you're into medium to larger cases and you want something that's breathable, easy to work in, and very high quality. You can pick up the Dark Base 701 in white, like I have here, or black. I don't actually work with too many white cases, but I think this one might be winning me over a little bit. I'll have links to the case and my build in the description below, so definitely head down there and check it out. I'm curious about the sizes of the cases that all of you are most interested in. Let me know in the comments if you like larger cases, if you're into true mid cases, or if people are really going in hardcore on the small form fact builds. Lastly, I would say that if this video helped you with your case selection, I would definitely appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video, as that will tell YouTube to share this video to other people who are researching cases. Get subscribed if you're into gaming PCs and home lab stuff. You can even ring that bell if you want video notifications. Until next time, stay cool.